Hi, welcome to Dawn's Workshop. This is part 20 of my Lego Titanic build. So last time we got all this decking on on this level and gonna get into the next part now. Okay, I got everything sorted here, so let's get started. And this is the funnel, so it's going to be on its own separate piece to start off with here. We'll put that in later. And that, and then we have what kind of technique they're going to use to put this together. Okay, so that goes there, and then we have two of these. And then that goes on top of that. Okay, there we go. Now I gotta get this in the right spot this time, because I didn't put these in the right spot last time. They go right on the inside. And then there is a yellow stud on the outside here. And these green, the lime green pins here. And we got some, some more plate to hook this stuff up. And a red plate there. Okay, and then we have these red ones, but these are the ones I put in the wrong spot last time. Okay, they go there and there. Yeah, I put them on the outside instead of the inside and had to dismantle that. That palisade brick kind of ended up over there. And then these two by three slopes. I don't know why that is like that, but it is. And then that there. Plate there, plate there, another one by four there. Okay, now we're using another one of these telephones with the clip. Um, there we go. Oh, that's why that space is there. That goes there. And then we have this bracket, or facing bracket that goes in there again. Similar to last time. And some portholes. Uh, portholes go on this side. There we go. And tile it off. Oh, I forgot the palisade bricks that go in there, in the corners. And there, that's, those go in there. And I can put these plates on, or tiles on. that uh, this curved 
saloon. Oh wait. That's supposed to be the corner one. Like that. Okay. Now the main funnel piece here. Okay, same thing as with these jumpers and then the yellow studs. on the sides of the funnel. Well, they're like pipes, I guess, but... I think that's the idea anyway. Is that they would be some... pipes for whatever they... whatever they had the pipes on there for. Okay. And the two, these two hinge pieces to keep them in place. Hinge or hitches, they're kind of like a hitch. Oh, I forgot, I did this again, same thing. I forgot, I gotta put the pin, the Technic pin in first. And then, that over top and same thing on the other side there we go not just hold it in there uh, and we have a couple of rounded one by twos in the by two and then these these one by two is where we're gonna put the studs on and run the these little cables through them that worked better than previously Okay. So you're supposed to put them in here and then like so. And the other one. on the other side. Okay. The other four by four round and the top. There we go. Now the hinge piece. Okay, so this is the front side with the red plate. Or whatever. I think that is the front side. And that goes like that. Now we have these two this hinge on the front. Now we put that in here. Make sure everything is connected. Yeah, the red matches with the red. And it popped right in there. Now that one went in and 
one shouldn't have to. There, all connected correctly this time, and now gotta put that in here like that. Oh, look better that is. Oh, that's a tight fit. Oh, that's because the string is in the way. Oh, okay. So guess what? Can still see those two bars. Two of the bars. You can't see the other two though. Not sure why. And then nail down these. Or tack down these ends of these cables. Okay, that's those two. And then that one and that one. That one's a little more taut than the other one. Okay. Now, what's this? Kind of lopsided here. We're gonna put it like that. The two palisade bricks and the red clip. And we get rails. brick there and we have the hinge or the bars above the rails I know what that's supposed to be and then we tile it off oh wait I forgot the the brick okay now where does that go that's like oh that's what that clip is for. The clip is to clip onto that bar. Now, is it in the right spot? It goes this way. Yeah. It's like it is. So you got that bar down there and that clip. Yeah, it snaps in. Now we're doing it with another one. Just, I guess that's just the way the details turned out. That's why they they did that. Interesting. Okay, and then tie those off. Now, to see if this bar is indeed in the right spot. Yeah, it is. I had to flip it around, but now it is definitely in the right spot. Anything else that I missed there? No. Okay, we have the the boat holders. Uh, life bolt holders. Where do they go? They go on the studs. Or the jumpers. Because the boats are going to go in between. Okay. And then I have to make four boats. Of the 20 lifeboats on board, 14 were standard wooden lifeboats with a capacity of 65 people each and four collapsible boats holding 47 people each. So. that. 
Okay, there we go. It's one. Is a neat little way to make these lifeboats. here, here, oh, they do, it goes here, it does go there, the other sec, oh, the front, the other half has the other half of that, uh, crane piece. Now, that has been part 20 of my Lego Titanic build, and we are now finished the first part of this middle section. So, got the funnel on, Got the rest of the decking on and the boats. Anyway, if you'd like to see more, please subscribe. Thank you for watching and take it easy.